you're needing a financial miracle, a financial blessing, this is going to be for you. I want to pray for you. But first, I want to show you a few of the financial miracles that we've seen just lately. Okay, here we have money literally appearing from nowhere, out of thin air. $300 check in the mail. $100 found in a bag. Again, money out of nowhere. It works in other ways as well. This insurance company was holding out on somebody. And guess what? It was revealed that there was another policy that would cover the person. Blessings with business offers. Even this, God helping save this person money. Okay, let me pray for you. And I'm going to do a short teaching about finances after this if you want to stick around for it. Okay, there's nothing for you to do. Just be relaxed. The Lord may speak something to you. He may show something to you. So you want to be still. You want to be quiet. You don't want to be uh, mimicking me or anything. Just, just listen. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for your grace, your peace, your presence coming upon this person. In Jesus' name, all the anxiety and fear about finances to be lifted off right now. In Jesus' name, everything not of God, fear, emotions, negative emotions that are not of you. In Jesus' name, we just tell those things to leave now. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for your grace on them, Lord, in Jesus' name. If there is an evil spirit, a demon working against them in any way, financial or otherwise, against them, their family, their household. In the name of Jesus Christ, all wicked spirits, stop your work against this person, whether it's financially, physically, emotionally. In the name of Jesus Christ, all demons, stop your work against this person and leave right now. In Jesus' name, take your hands off their finances. Take your hands off their life. Leave from that, from them. Come out from them and never return. In the name of Jesus Christ, never come back again. Never go to anybody else again. In the name of Jesus Christ, be gone. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for your blessing, your hand, the angel's hand, however that stuff works. Thank you for blessing them with miracles and finances, money out of nowhere, promotions, uh, new businesses, helping them save money, giving them wisdom, whatever is needed, Lord, you know, you know what's needed. So we turn that over to you. We just know that you will bless them financially in the name of Jesus Christ. You said we don't even really have to think about it. So how much more if we pray for it? So thank you, Lord. Thank you for your grace on the folks that's watching and everybody connected to them right now in the name of jesus christ be blessed in jesus name all right let's talk a little bit about finances the kingdom of god okay you might have be familiar with these verses where jesus says take no thought about what you're going to wear or what you're going to eat god will provide those things don't even worry about it but hey a lot of us do worry about it right we're, we this is perfection okay this is the perfect standard we're we're not there yet we we do take thoughts we do worry sometimes maybe some of us a lot of the times about financial matters okay that's okay there's grace all right there's grace thank god there's grace but you want to grow in that you want to admit that hey i'm not there yet <laughs> god help me help me in this now what happens is we're worried about finances so we don't see the supernatural hand of god because god works through faith so we don't we don't see it happening and then when we don't see it happening we we don't we don't believe it then we're anxious about it so we don't see it happen so we don't believe it and then we're and see it just becomes this vicious cycle so it's okay even though that jesus said hey god will provide these things it's okay to admit hey i'm not i'm not at this level yet help me um let me pray for you let your friends pray for you whatever it comes by faith all right so that's another important thing about putting these testimonies up is that that helps boost your faith okay if you come to me all right, and you're needing prayer for finances or something, and it doesn't happen, you know, and it's something you honestly need, then then that's on me. My my faith was not there. And I've got a lot of teachings on that if you want to look that up instead of debating that. That's not the point. <laughs> but what it is, we can hear in this medium of uh, TikTok or whatever you're watching this on, whatever platform you're watching this on, we can help each other. You see these uh, testimonies. You can believe for yourself. Hey, I'm not perfect. Maybe I'm slacking in the face department for you, but you can believe for yourself, okay? 
and others can believe for you. So when you're listening to these prayers and stuff, hey, just believe for everybody. Believe God is good. Believe He's who He says He is, and He's going to touch everybody so we can all play a part in this. Now, God can bless you in a million different ways. I, I love this one. If you follow me on TikTok, you're probably sick of hearing this one, but it's just it's just so wacky that Jesus tells Peter, hey, go uh, go catch a fish and it's going to have a gold coin. Why not just pull one out of his ear or something? I don't know. But that's why I say in some of these prayers, like check things and keep checking them. Faith isn't necessarily a point in time. Yeah, it. the perfect way is, is you open up the fish's mouth and the gold coin's there. But, you know, if it doesn't work the first time, check another fish's mouth, okay? That's what I tell people. Check the bank account now. Check it in a couple of days. Uh, look under the toaster. Look again in a couple of days, in a couple of hours, all right? So we have a, we have a perfect standard, but most of us aren't there yet. So it's, it's okay to check things, and it's okay to keep your faith going. Faith is really about a relationship with God. Hey, I trust you. Uh, you're that good. You're that loving of a father. It's it's not about trying to make make something happen, you know. So if you don't see it the first time, hey, that doesn't mean God is not gonna, you know. You, you might see it the second time. It doesn't mean God has turned his back on you or anything like that. All right. So keep checking. Don't don't make faith a point in time. Yeah. Hey, that's perfect. It should be bam, but. Just realize we're not we're not all perfect. We're not operating at perfect, you know, belief capacity. So keep checking. Keep keep. Uh, some people use this term. I don't really like it, but keep activating your faith. All right. Keep keep believing God. Hey, I know you're good. Uh, maybe I didn't see it the first time. I'll see it the second time, the third time. Okay, here's one I haven't really taught on a lot. <laughs> Sometimes when you're a minister, you probably shy away from this one. Okay, but God does bless you when you're giving to his work. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean a ministry. It could be helping people in God's name, in the name of Jesus. Hey, I'm blessing you with this, uh, you know, uh, some food to eat, you know, whatever. We're not limiting it to just an offering plate. Okay, but God can bless all of these things as well. Now, some people jump to extremes on this where they go, oh, you shouldn't expect God to do anything. Now, I mean, that. now there's a truth there, but it's an extreme. You should give, like I said, as a cheer, cheerful gr giver, not grudgingly or out of necessity, just because you love God, all right? And He is going to bring that. He is going to bless that, bless that giving, bless you uh, with more seed, as it says there, okay? Uh, then there's this other extreme to where they say, oh yeah, God's going to give something to you. But it's almost like he's a, it's a law, like God is bound to, or it's just some kind of impersonal force in the universe. That's not what these t uh, scriptures are teaching either. It said God loves a cheerful giver, and God is able to make. So God is doing it. God is able to make all grace abound towards you, so that you always have enough of everything and may abound in every good work, okay? So... God makes it happen. It's it's through a relationship. It's knowing that, hey, God, you're telling me to take care of, of these folks or give to this ministry or whatever. I know you're not going to leave me, you know, holding an empty bag here. You're going to help me out. OK, so it's just it's just that simple truth. Don't go extreme on either side of it. OK, now I've seen this happen. Uh, and, and if you're not giving anywhere, just try it try a dollar okay but but do it from the goodness and do it in god's name don't do it to where you're like okay all right this is i'm making an investment here i need i need ten dollars for this lunch so i'm gonna put one dollar in here where, where's the money coming from you know don't do it like that but if there's a if there's a ministry that you feel is 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 blessing you just try it if there's a a, a person that needs help you know just try blessing them and see what happens, okay? God God will bless. I've seen this happen uh, a bunch of times where I'm like, man, I, I've been listening to this ministry, and hey, just just forgot to give, and then finally did, and then whammo, <laughs> you know, it just hits you out of nowhere. But anyway, don't go extreme on that either way. Hope this helps. Please let us know in the comments anything, what you think about this, questions, and of course, the testimonies when God blesses you. So God bless you.